uh, in this video I will discuss about the question asking technique into the classroom in general the student uh, ask uh, very simply the question and because of that teacher are not able to explain and understand that uh, where is the uh, basically that particular student is facing the problem so in that in this particular video I have just focus it and explain that how to ask a question into the classroom so with the help of this technique I am sure that you will be get benefited so this part is very important uh, into the classroom that uh, when you interact with your teacher and discuss uh, about the particular topic so usually a student ask the question directly like uh, what is day and night, what is semiconductor laser, what is population inversion uh, or what is time dilation I am asking this question because I am the person of physics and I know that how the, co how the student ask the question like what is HALA effect uh, similar they ask uh, like uh, such kind of question directly so I personally feel that in a classroom where teacher already taught that topic and uh, then after during the discussion you are asking the question directly it uh, basically does not give the complete information to the teacher that where you are facing the problem so this way of asking such kind of question is not a proper way as we know that after the lecture uh, delivery into the classroom students are supposed to read textbook related to that topic and make a proper notes so in this process student get an idea about the topic that what is the depth of the, uh, that topic and where that basically is, um, what, what basic things that topic is explaining so if suppose you ask uh, directly a question to the teacher so teacher will not able to identify your problem so in this uh, asking a question into the classroom or when you interact with your teacher it is very important that the concept uh, related to the topic must be clear to you so to reach up to the depth of the topic there are some steps where the student's concept is not clear or have some doubt confusion students don't need to use or ask the questions like this way that what is that uh, how it works A student first explain the point that i understand up to this limit and i am not able to understand further so how it could be happen and what is the role of that particular things like this but before asking the question you have to made some background that you understood up to this limit and you are facing this problem so uh, at least teacher can uh, make clear the idea and uh, save your time so in this way the teacher can basically help you just uh, take a simple example in uh, suppose that in your university or school you are standing at the gate and ask to the gatekeeper that I have to go in that particular building in this room and he told you that this building lies in that corner and room is on second floor if suppose you are standing remain standing on the gate so how it could be possible that you can enter into the particular room for that entering into the particular room you have to go you have to approach up to uh, to that room so suppose you enter into the university or your school and follow the building then after you enter into the first floor or second floor wherever that room is and then you are not able to identify that room so then that time basically you will uh, you will ask some help and then that time the person whatever he will tell you that will be the exact location of that particular room but 
now the next uh, third point of this one is uh, you know that every room has a gate window and now what you are doing that and you have to enter into that room and instead of entering through the gate you are just hitting the wall that i have to go through this wall so it could not be possible so now you have to see that this is the way by this gate you have to enter into the class so the point of uh, taking this example is just similar to the asking a question into the classroom if you ask a uh, question that what is the hall effect or what is how day and night happens so it does not basically give the exact or clear in information to you you will get exact point and um, i'm sure 100 percent sure that when you will make some background of your question and ask the question to the concerned person then after his response you will get more exposure of that particular concept but if you ask a simply question that what is this or how it happens or uh, where is that uh, like this then that time it is very difficult that you get exact uh, feeling or sense of that concept so it is very important that you first of all you go into the uh, detail of that topic just note down that here uh, that point uh, where you face the difficulty you are not able to visualize the concept uh, there is some difficulty in mathematics you are not able to solve the numerical problem like this but important point is what first of all after teacher taught you that topic in classroom you have to read it and understand it and then that time you when you face the problem then that time the question comes that will be genuine so asking a question into the classroom is a very good uh, trick but uh, important point is if you will use this technique it will help both teacher as well as of student a student will get the complete idea and teacher will understand that this is the problem of this particular student so because of this question there are so many students who will also get benefited from this so asking a question into the classroom is classroom is a very important technique and uh, one have to ask uh, frequently the question so in a summary i will say that um, uh, first of all you listen carefully what your teacher is telling to you then after you have to read yourself analyze that things which comes into your subject and then after anywhere where you face the problem you have to note down that point that this is the point at this particular point i have faced the problem so then after you have to discuss with your teacher by um, explaining that up to this point i have no problem but at this point i could not understand what is it means so then that time the question will be exact and that will be genuine and the information which you will get from the teacher that will improve uh, your knowledge and that will remain forever in your mind so uh, go asking a question in a classroom is very important and i hope you will use this uh, technique uh, instead of throwing a simple uh, question by making some scientific words and then after a question mark so uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt or problem you can ask or mm, comment below this video thank you